785 total points in three FLL superpowered robot runs. Wanna know how? Well, you're gonna find out. In this video, we'll be analyzing my three favorite runs that I've seen so far this year from YouTube, as well as going through some of my top tips from over five years of competing in FLL to help you and your team score as many points as possible this season. Also, if more than 42 people subscribe from this video, I will be making a bonus video explaining exactly how my FLL team made it to our state championships during the City Shaper season in 2019, so definitely please consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's take a look at some FLL super-powered robot runs. All three of the runs we will be looking at score a total of 785 points and were not designed or programmed by me at all, so 100% of the credit goes to Kasperl and Sapel, over-engineered LEGO robots, and EA Girls. Please consider checking out their channels, all three of them have awesome FLL videos and the link to the videos are in the description below. The first FLL super-powered run that we will be looking at scores 145 points in 26 seconds and was created by Kasperl and Sapel. The first thing I would like to point out about this robot is the use of a linear actuator. These are one of my favorite types of attachments and are super useful. A linear actuator basically converts rotational motion from like a motor and turns it into linear motion. Another thing I like about this robot is its use of passive attachments. Passive attachments are useful because they don't use a motor and overall this robot looks really cool. The second superpowered run that we'll be looking at scores 230 points with 7 launches in 2 minutes and was created by over-engineered LEGO robots. The first thing that I like about this robot is its cable management and how it has nice and sound construction. Cable management refers to where the cables are on the robot and making sure that there's no cable sticking out anywhere that would have potential to get caught on anything during a match. The robot also has at least one square or flat edge to make it possible to wall square and also makes it easier for launching runs. And this robot also does a great job of using passive attachments. The third FLL superpowered run that we will be looking at scores 410 points in 2 minutes and was created by EA Girls. One of the first things that I like about this run is how each of the robot's attachments are designed to solve multiple missions each. This helps to save time in launch and makes a big difference in how many points you can score because the less time that your robot spends in launch, the more time it can spend out on the game field scoring points. Here's another good example of this robot solving multiple missions at once.
Once again, please consider checking out the original videos of these robot runs. All of these robots are amazing and there's multiple things that you can learn from each one. Please consider liking this video and if you want to know more about how this year's robot game works, I would definitely recommend watching the video on the top right of your screen right away. Thanks for watching.